Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella. Today is uh, September the 5th. <laughs> it is a Saturday. Actually, you'll be seeing this probably Sunday, the 6th, because it's later in the evening now. What time is it? It's almost 6. And the boys are outside playing. That's why I kind of look <laughs> disheveled because I was outside playing with them. And uh, we we're practicing some disc golf throws. But, um,. Anyways, I went to Joanne's today and Walmart and I got some fabric and stuff that I wanted to do. Just a quick little haul video to show you guys what uh, prints will be coming up in the shop soon. These are actually, the fabric that I'm going to show you are going to be uh, tote bags. And then I'm going, I've got a lot of fabric, just random prints here in my stash that I'm going to try to make, to pull out to use up. That it will be uh, drawstring bags, both big ones and the little sizes. And a bunch of Notion pouch pouches. Ugh, I can't speak. Uh, cause I got a lot of fabric that I want to just try to work through to get rid of it. But yeah, so I'll start with Walmart. First I went, this actually won't be, um, anything in the shop. This is going to be, I think a table runner <laughs> for myself. My friend Phyllis and I, we talk all the time. Uh, she showed me a table runner, uh, from someone who uses, uh, jelly rolls, which is a little fabric, um, stack <laughs> of long strips of printed fabrics so this is uh, halloween prints i got two of them i opened one but they're just really long strips of fabric called jelly roll that you then sew together and make stuff out of and she showed me a table runner that i'm going to try to make i got two because i thought maybe i could make two of them and um i don't know if i can get it to work and it looks good i might try to sell the other one but one was definitely going to be for me but i just picked up two of those today they were like almost six dollars i think also at walmart i got three color or three yards of the um waverly i think this orange for the backing of the table runners and also the backing the liner for these two prints for bags these are going to be toe bags so i got a spider print and this print's got like a witch and ghost and bats and stuff on it. Just Halloween prints. These will be tote bags in the shop eventually. <laughs> Probably in, um, let's see here. Probably maybe next weekend. What is next weekend? Uh, the 12th. Maybe around the 12th. I'm going to try to shoot for the 12th, but don't quote me on that. <laughs> I'll announce the day before for sure whenever they go up. And I also got just some more stickers. Um, label thingies. I've been putting stickers in my orders this last update I did, so I want to keep doing that. And so I needed some more labels to print on. So that's all I got at Walmart. And then at Joann's, I got some fabric, some batting. I got a big old thing of batting. <laughs> this is what makes the tote bag squishy. I got thicker batting this time because some of the bags last update was thinner batting. And I just personally wasn't uh, as pleased with it as I am with a thicker one. It's a pain in the butt to work with because it's real fibery. When you cut it, it just like flies everywhere. But I think it makes better bags, so I'm willing to put up with it. Actually, last time I used this thick, I just wore one of my face masks while sewing, and it made it a little bit better. Because when I don't wear a face mask and I'm doing that, I get real sneezy and itchy. And it's just because I'm breathing in those fibers. So I'll just wear my face mask and suffer through it. <laughs> but also, uh, I had to pick up some sewing needles because these are like hand sewing needles. I thought I had some, but I cannot find them anywhere. And I need them to sew uh, buttons on a little thing that I'm making, a little pattern. So I had to pick up some of those. And I also got a bobbin case. I only have th uh, four bobbins right now. I'm trying to find more bobbins, but my sewing machine takes uh, J15 and I can't find them anywhere in store. And so I'm gonna have to order some off the internet because all the ones in stores are always just regular J's and those won't work in my machine. But uh, so this is to organize my bobbins once I get bobbins to organize and the fabric. All right, this is cute. I got two fall prints because some people you know, don't want Halloween prints. So I just picked up two pretty fall prints. This one has, let me hold it that way, pumpkins and gourds and just greenery and stuff, really pretty. And around the pumpkins, I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of like gold shininess. So there'll be two tote bags with that print and probably some Notion pouches too. I have to wait and see how I cut it. And then I got this uh, fall print also upside down. <laughs> just really pretty fall print with sunflowers. Again, there'll be two of those. And then this I just thought was super cute and I had to buy it. <laughs> it's not Halloween or fall. It's just sheep. But it's really cute sheep. Oh, that was so cute. So there'll be some tote bags in that print. And then I got some Halloween prints. I got some of this witch because a lot of people expressed interest in it. And I only had one bag last time. So this will be enough to make two more bags. And hopefully the people who wanted it can snatch it up. 
And then I, uh, they didn't have much Halloween prints. They were already sold out. So I just got what I could. So I got some Snoopy ones and they're all wearing costumes. And then I got a Mickey Mouse one. Make sure I hold it the right way. It's got Mickey and Pluto and Donald and Daisy and Minnie and Goofy. All in costumes and little ghosts and bats. Super cute. And then this one was so cute. I had to get this one. It's llamas in costume. <laughs> so I thought this was super cute. But all these will be tote bags coming up in the shop soon. And then I also got uh, a couple yards of interfacing for the zipper bags. And I got a bunch of white fabric <laughs> to line all these with. Um, so I took advantage of their door busters they had going on. So I got almost, almost everything that I bought was on sale. I think maybe the only thing that wasn't was this. But, uh... I still used a coupon on it, so it was all on sale. I did, I did good. But yeah, so these ones are going to be tote bags coming up and then, and then the shop update. I think there's enough here to make 14 tote bags. And then the rest of the fabric that I have piled up in Jesse's room, I have to sort through, will be drawstring bags. I don't know how many, just as many as I can squeeze out of all the, all the fabric. And a bunch of zipper notion pouches. And some of the drawstring bags will be little because I got a lot of fat quarters that I want to use up. So, uh, and the little drawstring bags seem to be popular last time, so I'm going to go ahead and make some. I'm also going to be making some Christmas ornaments soon. I want to make some for my family this year, but I'm also going to put some in the shop because I thought you guys might like to buy some. But they're, they're going to be uh, sewn ones with fabric instead of crochet. And uh, in my head, they're really cute, so I don't know. I'll have to make them and see how they turn out. But that was my Joanne's haul today. I had fun. Now I'm going to go outside and play with my boys some more. After I get some water and chug it because I'm tired and it's hot. <laughs> but uh, we're out playing and having fun and making memories. Tomorrow we're going to go to a park near us. It's kind of, it's like a 20 minute drive. But we're going to uh, do some hiking and we're going to take our um, disc, drop, uh, disc golf net thing. I don't know what that's called. <laughs> it's the net that you throw the discs in. And we're going to set it up somewhere there and just play with it and have some fun. So maybe I'll vlog. I don't know. I haven't vlogged on this channel in forever. A uh, non-crafty -cra vlog. But we'll see. We'll see what we get into. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and subbing and liking and commenting and all that jazz. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.